hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 3, season 8 of the Munchin Club. As always, thanks for joining me, I really do appreciate it and I also appreciate it when you smash the like button. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe and if you really want to help the channel, you can always pledge to my Patreon. Now, it is the end of season 8. Is it the end altogether? Well, we don't know yet. I'm going to leave that as a mystery. But as you know, if you've been watching the series, you'll know it's been going pretty well. We've done really well with this club in eight years and um, taking them up from the third division with no budget really I've had to build my own budget just by staying in the Bundesliga we've won a couple of pole cows and then obviously we've been closer and closer to that title losing out on goal difference one year so I really felt like we were getting closer we had a really really good team but could this season be it could we win the Bundesliga or the Champions League well we'll have to find out aren't we so as always thanks for taking time out of your busy day let's get stuck into it so this is where I left you in the last episode. We drew 0-0 with Bayern. Both live comms have been draws with Bayern. Um, I still think we are a better team than them. And obviously we are challenging the league. We have the Champions League. And I felt really good. Very nervous, but really good about winning one or the other. Um, so <laughs> let's find out what happened. Well, we had six games left to play in the Bundesliga. And of course, one of our arch rivals and the team that beat us to the title on goal difference with Schalke. So to bounce back from that draw against Bayern and beat one of the best teams in the country 3-0 at home. They did help us with an own goal but this was amazing. This was a great performance, a great confidence boost and a great chance for us to win the league. Next up was Leverkusen away. Another team up there challenging really at the top of the league. So to go to their place and win. Again, we've got an own goal, bit of luck but sometimes you need luck don't you? We've had times when we've had no luck like losing a freaking league on goal difference. So sometimes you need that little bit of something. You also need focus, laser focus, like the famous Tom Brady always says. And we had it. Dodgy got his goal in the 47th minute in a game. I was surprised by Leipzig were not good. They were a great team, former champions, and they were not good. Next up was Wolfsburg. And again, we did just enough. That was three games on the run that we'd won 1-0. Two of them have been away, so that's amazing. Uh, Sprout, we got man of the match. Right winger Carlos got us a goal early doors, and um, we were the better team. We deserved the points. We should have scored more. And after this game, we wrap that title right up. Which meant for the final two games, I could play B team players. We were the champions of Germany. It was a great feeling. Although it was kind of like I was kind of gutted by it in a way because I liked all. The, we've had all these last minute title wins. And we've been a part of a few. I really wanted it to go down to the wire, but we had this great run of form until we did it. And some of the other teams kind of fell away. And we won it with games to play. So yeah, you can tell by the team I put out there, pretty much B team. It give guys a run out. We've still got a point though. But then for the last game and the uh, trophy ceremony, again a B team did, um, but it was a total switch off. They weren't, these guys weren't bothered. Some of them don't want to even be here anymore. Uh, Via de Bremen aren't that good. They looked better because we just did not turn up, didn't play, didn't care. Champions. And we actually ended up winning the league by sh I mean, it shows you how much everyone else kind of fell off. I mean, you got Leipzig and Schalke on 66, Dortmund on 65, Bayern on 64, Leverkusen 63, Köln 62. They're all close and then we're way, way ahead with 78 points, 12 points clear. I did not think we'd walk it like that. It was closer for most of the year, but it is what it is. It's a great way to win it. And to see Munchen at the top of that list makes me feel pretty proud. And this kid was the best player in the league. Great find. I've loved this year's, uh, or this save's Dutch contingent. Like I've said in the past, you can play different saves and sometimes there'll be a great group of youngsters coming out of certain countries at different times. That's the way I always feel the game is. I don't think it's always as consistent. And I was gutted when we lost our big player to Arsenal. But this kid's coming. He's in what his second season now with us. He's 20 years old. He's got better and better and better. I knew he was going to be good. I wonder kid. But I didn't know he was going to be this good. And yeah, he's had a fantastic season this year. Best player in the Bundesliga. And they do say, especially my beloved NFL, that championships are built on defence. And that was right. I thought that last year. And I said this before. I felt like we were good going forward. We were just a bit weak in certain areas. So I brought in a new goalkeeper, we've got new fullbacks in, got a new centre half. Really strengthened the defence as a whole with a bit of depth and a bit more quality. 
and I'm not changing the tactic, and I think it shows that that quality. Um, I mean, look at the difference there. Only 17 conceded. And we also just about got the most goals. 59. So, yeah, definitely deserve champions. Best defence, best attack, best players, best looking manager, best fans. Yeah, that title's ours. That big shiny disc. But we get to drink all in big pints as well. Happy days. And look at the money we've got in the bank. I mean, we've got no commercial income. We get a very little, well, little, I mean, no investment from our board. Um, we've just accumulated as well. We've only ever really sold one player for big money, which is Tavares. This is just from staying in the Bundesliga, getting into Europe and chipping and chipping away. So it's been a great joy this, to build something from absolutely nothing. To fight against all the odds, to punch above your weight and get to the very top. But it ain't over yet. We were still in the Champions League, we in the quarter-final, don't forget. Remember when I showed it you, it was pretty much all German. Yeah, well, we didn't draw with German. Obviously, we got Valencia first and we beat them 2-0. Goals from Dodzi and uh, Brian Aguirre. And we deserved it, totally deserved it. But then we went to their place and got beat 1-0 and I was a bit, a bit shocked by this performance. But we had a lot on our plate. At this time, we're still going for that title and I'm, I'm going for everything at this point. I'm not B-teaming anything. Trying to win the league games and they were giving me everything we've got in the league so as long as we got through that's the most important thing really but then in the semis it became an all german affair it's schalke and dortmund in the other semi-final which is amazing and then us and being in this one and this time it was no longer a draw our undefeated streak against Bayern x was extended i think it was seven games after this game obviously carlos the right wing genius got man of the match and scored as a goal it was a pretty boring game. But like the other draws, it's just that one little margin of error, that one goal that separated us this time compared to those other games. So to win 1-0 away and get that away goal was massive. We were one step away. We just had to get past our biggest ever rival to get to the top of that freaking mountain. In the other semi-final first leg, Dortmund and Schalke had drawn 1-1. Dortmund though, absolutely battered Schalke. Schalke like hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Scored a goal somehow. A few minutes after Dortmund's goal. So yeah, I was looking at that thinking if we can get past Bayern, probably gonna be Dortmund next, isn't it? I mean this is just relentless. And in their second leg, Dortmund did do enough. Uh, going through 3-2 in aggregate, um, they scored early, Schalke got back into it, then they did get their winner in the 59th minute. Pretty even game though, Schalke played a bit better with the home crowd behind them, but they didn't do enough. They didn't do enough Schalke. It was gonna be Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League final, but which team from Munich will be facing them? Well, after our third draw in four games against Bayern, our first leg victory was enough. Enough. We too got through 3-2. What game this was. So much pleasure out of this game. Although, my superstar right winger, who's done so much to get us here, got sent off. So we're going to have the suspension of two for the final. Um, but yeah, super, super proud. Super proud, especially because we, you know, I thought we were going to blow it. If you look at us when the goals were scored, they were 2 0 up. I'm thinking, shit. But we came back like warriors. And here we go. This is it. An historic final for us in our eight year history. Don't forget, we're 1860 Munich reborn. So our history started again. Obviously, we've never won it. They have. And they're going for their second Champions League trophy in their 118 year history. Don't forget as well, Bayer Leverkusen, who weren't even in the semi finals of the champions. German football at the minute. The best in the world. Let's check in on the boys, and it is arranged by average rating. And luckily, but it's not lucky because my right winger Carlos Lucius is amazing, and he's the only player suspended. Usually, we have we have a lot of yellow cards, so and there could have been one or two more. Uh, Lindbergh, the backup striker, isn't one hundred percent fit, but my number one team, apart from Lucius, is ready for this. Don't forget, the B team last two league games, so these guys are fresh and ready and hungry. Can we do the double? We've won the Bundesliga. Imagine, imagine if we could win the Champions League. I just think that would be one of my greatest achievements. Seriously. I've won the Champions League on Football Manager a lot, but usually with like big clubs, with big players. You know what I mean? I mean, I've won it with other teams I've created, but they've had investment or they've been in the Premier League getting Premier League money. This has been different. This would, be, this would make me proud as anything. We're going to share it together, hopefully, 
it's going to be good. And a lot could rest on this man's shoulders. He's still unhappy. He wants to move to a bigger club. But you never know. End of the summer. If we, well, we are Bundesliga champions. If the Champions League champions as well. Who's bigger? Who's bigger than us in Europe then? No one. So it'd be interesting to see what he says after that. But, you know, this lad's been very important. He's not the most prolific. He can score roughly one every other game. Every two and a half games. But he does do a lot more for me. And uh, he's, he's a very special player. He's got a lot of flair. He can dribble the ball. He can put the ball in the net when he needs to. So Let's have a quick check in with the patrons. Uh, some of these are no longer patrons. And um, going forward, with new stuff, new databases, I'm going to start adding you guys who are actual patrons to future databases. This isn't going to be it. So you're going to pop up in different things as the year progresses. So always keep your eye out for your name. Um, but yeah, if you, if you become a patron and don't, you won't be on it. That easy, really. But yeah, these guys, most of them are actual patrons. I need to update this list and, <clears throat> and save it so I can take it with me. And just do different things with it, like I said. Got some fun ideas for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is arranged by value. And all these guys have what an eight year career now so far. They all have started out at Denton Villa or Manchester Central. And all have played, they played for big teams, a lot of them. If we change the value around, even the lowest player, Mr. Robert Lawson. He's still worth seven and a bit. So some have had better careers than others. They all had, you all have the same potential. So it shows you it depends how your career can go. You can get in a team or not. Uh, Martin Smith. Is it Denton? Has he never left Denton? That's pretty cool. He actually started out at Central. Went to Wolves, Sheffield United, Shrewsbury's been at Leeds. And now he's made the full circle return to Denton. So he's played, Martin's played for both teams. Martin Smith. I like that. And let's have a check in on my former saves, my former teams. And um, we'll check in on last year's team, the FM19 save, Denton Villa. And they're in the championship at the minute. They've just finished 12, which is good. I think it's the first year in the championship, I think. But you know, that's good. They've just progressed and progressed and progressed. I'm happy with that. We're playing at Shirley Hill, which is in fact just down the road from here. It is just a grass football pitch. It hasn't got a stadium on it, but it's called Shirley Hill. Um, it's not been expanded yet. I was, I was happy. They're still there and I do love them kits. I wish I had them kits on the series last year. Central, on the other hand, they're going to be staying in the Skybet League one. Um, unfortunately, they finished third, got into the playoffs, got to the final. I've just been beaten off Shrewsbury. 3 0. I still love Manchester Central. That is one of my best stories as well. If you're new to my channel, go back to my FM18 series, find Manchester Central and just watch episode one. Just so you can learn about Manchester Central. It's a good little history video. And they're still at the Sir Brett Dalton Stadium. If you don't know who Sir Brett Dalton is, well, you'd have to watch the series to find out who he is. But he's a legend. He's an absolute legend. Well, I've been putting it off long enough, so let's get into the game. But before we do look at anything else, let's look at our head-to-heads with Dortmund. And we've had a lot over the last few years. And they're winning it. That makes me nervous. They're so winning it by six points. 1-6, we've won four. We have won the last two games against them. I've got nerves. I've got like butterflies. You know when you go for a job interview or you want to ask a girl out or something. <sighs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? I, feel, I really feel this compared to normal. I always feel it. Maybe don't show it. But I'm really feeling this. My stomach is making noises. Honestly, it, it's like it's talking to me. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up. It's like that. Oh, I'm scared. Anyway, here we are. Here's the back preview. We're favourites. Extra pressure, thank you very much. Brilliant. Uh, and we're going up against Valverde, the Barcelona guy who got sacked in the Barcelona top of the league. Weird. Anyway, stop, stop putting it off. Let's get into it. Welcome to Amsterdam, the Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam. I promise you, I didn't have a split. I had a cake. I uh, don't smoke anymore. We had a few cakes. Me and the, the coaching team were all a bit high and chilled. Um, look who is leading the line. For Borussia Dortmund, Lee, I mean you've known each other for years. I love you a lot. You're a good guy. Just had his birthday in real life. Um, if you score against me and beat us, I will never speak to you in real life ever again. I don't care if it's fake. I'll never speak to you. Never, ever, 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 ever. Anyway, uh, my team is fully fit and it's my best team. Apart from obviously my right winger, Lucius, is suspended. So Males is coming. The good thing is... He's played enough with Sprout over the years. They're linked up. My two centre-halves have been solid all year. We've seen how many goals they've let past them. They're linked up. 
We are left sides linked up and this three have been solid again. Oh yeah, they're linked up. Everyone's linked up. It couldn't be any better. We can do this. Here we come, out the corner. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, they look like Denton Villa, don't they? Hey, the black and yellow do look like Denton Villa. My beloved Denton Villa. Uh, we're playing in our traditional black top, white bottoms. I would have liked to have played in all black because I think we look mean. But who cares? I'm playing freaking bright pink, green shorts and red socks. Um, and wear a clown nose. If that meant we win, I don't care. Yeah, come on. Here we go. Mails it. He's a bit of a nappy because he's not played as much as he wanted to. He's a good young prospect, but then you just find better players sometimes. And Lucius has been amazing. He's dragged us. He won us that title at the end of the year. Oh, oh, my keeper. He came out fearless. He was fearless. By the way, what do you think of Manchester City? I might have laughed quite a lot. Let's hope that the UEFA stick by it and ban him. I think that'd be pretty funny. They deserve it. Uh, as for Manchester United, I am now a fan of VAR. I think VAR is amazing. We should stick with it. But if you watched the Chelsea game that we won 2 0, VAR ruled out five Chelsea goals. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of it now. Happy days. Right, 25 minutes in, we've got a highlight. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I feel like Tom Brady. Laser focus, shouting, let's go. Here's Sprout. He went for a shot then, didn't he? Should have cut it across, Sprout. Cut it across. Have you checked out my APL, my American Premier League? It's a United Soccer System reimagined. Four divisions, a couple of cups, no salary cap. Uh, lots of great teams and challenges within challenges that you can try out. Uh, go and watch the video if you haven't watched it already. There's some save files in there, some graphics to, to put into your game. Well, there you go. That's in the first half. It's not been the most exciting. I've got it on extended highlights, so I've got lots to play with in the edit. But I don't think I'm going to have to edit anything. Well, I've gone for the old Alex Ferguson treatment. Aggressive. Told them the shit. You are shit, boys. Uh, we've got full green. Everyone's motivated from it. They all like being shouted at. Submissive. That's what they are. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it as it is for now. Try and get a shot on target, that would help. Uh, and I'll just do the usual, get to that 60 minute mark. Ooh! Oh! I thought I was going to get blasted in the net. Everyone's focused apart from Malesy. What well, Malesy's unhappy. He is unhappy. He's unsure. Mate, if I had Lucius, he'd be playing. He'd be focused. Laser focused. He probably scores a winner. Right, come on. Jesus, this is a bit... It's a bit drab for a Champions League final, isn't it? It'd be awesome if every live con was like 5 4 drama at both ends. Do you know what I mean? But it's, I don't know, do you? it's a computer game. But do you know what? I'm, I'm impressed with it. I'm, I think the updates and wonders, like I've said before, some people are moaning. And um, I'm happy with it. Right then, I've made one change. Aguero's going out wide on the right. Males is coming off. And Down is coming on the left. Now, Down here, he's, he's come on that left wing a million times and changed games. Oh, beautiful from Aguirre. Stuck him out on the right and he's just become freaking Ronaldo. Oh, God. Come on! Right, here we go, here we go. This is it. I can feel it. I can sense it. Van der Werf finds down. Van der Werf then finds Gaul. God, these names are a bit hard, aren't they? Right, Aguirre. No, it's not. It's Sprouty. I'd rather it be Sprouty. He's taking on the world and fucking lost it. Right, here's Dortmund on the attack. We've got 20, just short of 20 minutes to go. We have defended well. From what I've seen, we're getting stuck in and we're stopping them. We just need to do more going forward. Just do something forward. Forwards, boys. That was that was shit. That was going to a load of yellow shirts. So I've made one change and Gallon is coming off. He's on a yellow. He's given the ball away a bit too much. And I've brought on Cavalier, who is a very good defensive midfielder. Here we go. Here's Sprouty. Brilliant player on the right-hand side. Spider Guerre cuts his side to Van der Werf. Passes back to Cavalier. 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 Sprouty. Oh, my God. Come on! It's Salva, not seen much of Salva this game. Sprout again, trying to get it in the danger zone. Can't do it. The drama, the freaking heart rate is increasing. Hopefully I haven't got any kind of blockage or I might die live on YouTube. Although that won't happen because I won't be able to edit it, will I? That's not going to work. Anyway, it's Dodzy. Come on. Come on, Dodzy. What the freaking frig is that, you frigging what? Okay, I don't use many shoutouts anymore. A lot of them let you down. A lot of them are pathetic, but I've just demanded more, right, 10 minutes to go. Do not let them score. Do not let them score. It's ricocheting too much. What a tackle! What a tackle! Real intensity from Aguirre. Love it! Absolutely love it! This game, you can get you on the edge, can't it? Of either ecstasy or absolute heartbreak. 
and started to panic here now. Come on, do not let them score. We defended so well all year. Do not let them score. Do not let them score, oh my God. There you go. End of 90 minutes. It's nil-nil. I think we are the better team. We just can't break that freaking deadlock. We just can't freaking do it. Well, there we go. Now, I've used my last sub um, to bring off a yellow. Um, Blazik has come on at left back. But then we've come straight on and you just notice there we've got a yellow straight away. Van der Werf, that is the last thing I needed. My best player. Potential to get bloody sent off. I'm, Jesus, here we go. Here's Downey. Come on. He's taking on the world. Can he win it for us? No, but here's Guerre. He's picked up on the right-hand side. He's going to try and cross it in. He has done. No one there, though. But D Downey's got it back. He's back to Guerre! Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go. He gets it back. Shit cross. Downey picks it up. Turns around, gives it him straight back. Boom! Come on! He can have four subs, I forgot. Um, I brought off Van der Werf, best player in the world. I know. But he's on a yellow, and I just feel like it's safer. And I brought on club favourite Heigl. He's from the very first youth intake. I think he's now our record appearance maker. He's been here from day one, the third division, all the way through. A bit of a bit part player now, but... He's a special player and he deserves to play in this special game, I think so. Yeah, my stomach, man. I'm going to have to go get some Rennies. Some Rennies. Anti-acid tablets. I feel like when I used to drink too much cider and you get all that stomach acid. That's what I'm getting. It's like nerves, anxiety, stress. I probably When I take my hat off, I'm probably going to be bald. Because I'm not bald, by the way. Here we go. Anyway, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. We're seconds away from being champions of Europe, champions of Germany, champions of Europe, champions of Germany. Come on! At the end of game stats, I think we deserve it. Brian Aguirre, you little beauty, with your 94th minute winner. And these are the boys that are going to get a medal, and every single one of them deserves it. Some special players there. Uh, you only have to play in one game now, don't you, to get one. But yeah, honestly, I'll never forget some of these lads. They're absolutely amazing. And this is our trophy cabinet, and I think it's something to be quite proud of. Two German Super Cups, we've obviously won the third division coming out of it, we won Bundesliga 2 coming out of that. We've got two Pokals, which is my favourite trophy, my favourite tournament, so to get two of them, I'd have, I'd have took that, really, as anything. And then the last two just look beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Champions League and a Bundesliga. Amazing. And this little club's amazing. I didn't know how I would feel about it. I, I love the idea of it. And now we're still in the Grunwalder. It's getting um, built up as we speak to a 50,000 seater. Got state of the art facilities, which we've had to pump in the money ourselves, earn every penny ourselves. And uh, it's been interesting having a, a board like I've had. I've never really had that with um, the fans voting them in and out. Anything could have happened with that. I could have been sacked. Could have wanted to bring in someone new, but they didn't. Uh, they never gave me a penny. Which doesn't help, but it, it was all built on the right foundations, this club. And I just wanted to get the new version of 1860 back to the top in the right way. And I think we've done that because we've got academy players in the first team squad. We've got great youth team, great staff. It's been fun. Well, there we go. That is the end of episode three, season eight. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to smash the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my Patreon. And if you're brand new... You should watch the entire series because it's been a great journey. A great journey that everyone who's followed me from day one to now, I am super appreciative of. You're an absolute legend. Obviously, numbers always drop off, but you guys that have stuck with this, honestly, thank you. I make it for you, you know, and it's been a pleasure to play and create and share this journey with you. It's all about telling a story and hopefully having some success along the way and having fun together. So I hope some of you at home have been cheering with me because honestly thank you thank you for every like every comment i really do appreciate it now i did always say i want this to be a short series le less episodes per season and that if we ever got this club to the top and won a bundesliga or a champions league i'd end it and we have just won both so obviously i've got to make a decision and i've made a decision am i going to end it am i going to keep it going well the answer is 